working with anybody I feel like is is relatively comfortable for me if, if there's a clear defined goal. If if the goal is all over the place, then I don't like it so much, you know, because then I don't really know kind of where we need to invest our time. If we're, if we're talking about working with a kid that wants to be on his high school tennis team, you know, out here, that just means let, let's get a little faster. Let's be consistent. Let's make sure we're not double faulting and boom, you know, we're there. If we're talking about, you know, Liam, my son, he says he wants to win Grand Slams. I turn on the TV. I show him how Djokovic is playing, how, how Alcaraz is playing. I'm like, these are the guys you want to beat. So you're going to have to absolutely be crushing the ball and, and, and being a physical beast. So that just brings a different challenge to the table. And how, like, how is it for him being so young and having to, like, what's his mindset like towards playing this kind of way? Because I'm sure at times it's not that easy for him to play this style of tennis or try to play this style of tennis all the time. Yeah, it, it that, I think... That question is huge, and uh, he does a good job so far. I'm not going to say that he hasn't struggled in the past or he won't struggle in the future, but um, he works with this other young boy, spends a lot of time with him, and the other boy has a tough time with playing so aggressive and losing or missing so many shots. And I try to come at it a, a few different ways. And I asked this other young boy, I said, so what's your confidence level going into a match? And, you know, predictably, he would answer like the rest of us, you know, like four out of ten. You know, not really sure how this is going to go, mm -hmm. you know. And I asked Liam because Liam was standing right there. And Liam actually answered the question correctly. He said, well, I don't understand the question. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, well, if you're asking me my confidence in doing what I'm supposed to do, which is I'm going to fight hard and I'm going to play the right way. My confidence level is a 10. Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do those things. There's no question about it. But if you ask me my confidence level in winning the match, you know, he's like, I don't know, a zero? Like, it, almost irrelevant. And that's kind of what Liam and I talk about all the time is, you know, everybody gets attracted to playing well. Everybody gets attracted to focusing on winning. And those are really toxic thoughts if you let that consume your brain. If you go out there and you're focused on competing, if you're focused on playing – the right way for, for you, whatever that, that is, then you can rest easy and you're giving yourself the best chance to play well. You're giving yourself the best chance to win. And, and you can kind of have a confident peace, like an intense, an intense mindset, but a, a calm emotional state, which is kind of what you go for as, as, as an athlete, I would assume, yeah. for all sports. Yeah. Hey, guys. Thanks so much for watching the clip. The full episode will be in the link down below. Go check it out and check out all of our other episodes in the past. Hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss any upcoming videos.